Now trending? Open defiance of government. Today's Monday, October 7th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $122. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friendsofweusecoins.com. You've heard of Bitcoin. Learn more about it at weusecoins.com. Bruce O'Connell and his family have run the Pisca Inn on a concession contract along the Blue Ridge Parkway since the late 1970s. A public service concession is when a private company enters into an agreement with bureaucrats to have the exclusive right to operate or maintain so-called public land. Because of the so-called government shutdown, federal agents told Bruce to close the doors to his inn. Instead, he pledged to defy orders and stay open to serve his customers, drawing over a thousand likes on the inn's Facebook page. But when National Park Rangers showed up with their guns and ordered Bruce to close, Bruce said, quote, We decided we weren't prepared to be a symbol, and we closed. But after a night of sleeping on it, Bruce said, quote, I simply decided, if not now, when? If not me, who? The inn serves about 20,000 tourists during a typical October, but Bruce said his defiance was not about lost revenue. Quote, It's about the visitors. It's about the staff and employees who are now having to move off the mountain. They live here with no notice. They have no jobs. That's the concern. Men with guns blocked off the entrance to the inn with their cars to prevent anyone from entering. With no way of... With no way for new customers to enter, Bruce caved and shut the inn's doors until further notice from the benevolent overlords at the federal government. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Once you get some Bitcoin, you're going to want to store them in a free wallet at blockchain.info. The former admins and users of the Silk Road are planning to resurrect it. User RR writes on the no longer operational anonymous marketplace Atlantis, quote, We have Silk Road version 2.0 ready to launch and is now in its final testing stages. Our site has all the features of the original one and we've kept the same style of forum for your ease. The new Silk Road will be sending out anonymous invites to former vendors and then open to the tour using public soon after. The representative of Atlantis wrote, quote, From a quick scout around, I've counted at least five publicly stated projects with the said aim of becoming Silk Road 2.0, and many, many more gathering info and building alliances. And this is what law enforcement is now parading as a victory? Over two years of investigation, millions of dollars spent, and for what? So a couple of armchair programmers can build it again in a few days, while in the meantime, vendors simply move to other sites. Users are already planning ways to keep the new site secure. The Silk Road won't be dead for long. Hackers will produce more Silk Road variants than any government can police. There seems to be no shortage of well-educated American males in their late 20s willing to sacrifice bright futures and their own personal liberty to highlight the downright totalitarianism being inflicted by agents of government. Make no mistake! We are witnessing a revolution in progress, and the internet is the battlefield. Are you fighting? In other news, the Salt Lake Tribune reports this week that, quote, frustration with the partial federal shutdown literally spilled over the gates of Zion National Park on Saturday morning, with 15 protesters entering despite Rangers' objections. James Milligan is the manager of Springdale's Zion Outfitter store, and he helped organize Occupy Zion. It's part of a broader social media effort dubbed Occupy National Parks on Facebook and hashtag Break the Barrier on Twitter. James said, quote, Obviously, I'm not too happy about it. This shop is my livelihood here, and I haven't had a customer in a week. Rangers will get their back pay, but what will people in these communities get? When they crossed the barrier, James and his crew walked up the trail for two hours, filling a garbage bag with the trash they picked up along the way. Federal rangers with guns took pictures of the trespassers and warned them that they might receive fines in the mail. A government spokeswoman said that attempts to enter the park, quote, are extremely taxing on us. We just don't have the staff. I really hope this doesn't become a trend. She said that instead, the protesters should write their congressman. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.